I'm working here. So this is Jason's monitor barn with shipping containers, which this is the first barn style that I have done with shipping containers. And one thing I'm working on, you can see I've got most of the siding done, windows. I don't know how they got so blue, but I'll fix that. <laughs> Uh, now, so what I'm going to do right now, though, is work on this stair, <coughs> which should bring up some interesting code issues. I'll turn off this roof and and the shipping containers. That'll help me see a little better. <coughs> Excuse me. So, oh, I forgot to. I had to raise up the uh, beam a little bit and I forgot to get the post up there, but I'll fix that right quick. That should go up to there. And since I have these as components, it's easy. They'll all, f they'll fix themselves. Well, let me try to get the axis locked. I want to go right there. There we go. So this stair, and I'm using this component uh, from this fella I know, uh, Chuck at Valley Architects. It's called Instant Stair. And he's a really cool guy. He's an architect. And he's letting me use this extension and I just have to learn how to use it a little better. But uh, I'm going to show you, show it to you here in a minute. But the first thing I want to do is get rid of this truss up here. This is the stair opening. I kind of already kind of figured out where this goes. And that line looks like a random. But I'm going to take this truss out. And for now, I'm just going to put a piece of uh, like OSB there. Let's go over here. Let's go here. And we'll go down to here. Is that working? It's going to be funky, so I'm just going to go out of here. Sometimes you just kind of go back to the old, the old ways of the old country. And I can't see. This was supposed to be easy. There we go. Push that back three quarters. And for now that's good enough. Uh, that's just gonna head her off my stair opening there. So I'll have something to lean my stair against. So there's a few issues going on with this. See if we have any viewers. We have two. Cool. Cool. Um, I wanted to get a few viewers before I start talking about issues. There's a, on these long run stairs, uh, the code uh, does not allow you to trans uh, or ascend or descend more than 12 feet without landing. Okay. So what we have is, if I were to go in here and just draw a straight line, 
down to the floor below, we would have 17 feet, 6 and 5 eighths. Okay, so that's too far. So uh, we have to have this landing here, which I've already figured out the height of. And we're going to run a set of stairs up to it. And which I'm kind of experimenting. I usually draw these stairs, you know, I would draw the individual components, but I'm trying to get a little more production minded. So I'm starting to use uh, these extensions a little more. But the first thing I need to do is realize that this, the top of this landing is the top of that riser so I want to take away well I want to lower it an inch and a half because I'm going to use so if I can get it to go down 1.5 and then what I'm going to do I want to use uh, two by sixes for the decking and let's see what have I got this two by tens. That needs to go down nine and a quarter, 9.25. I want this to be, these to be two by tens. Like that, that'll give me more to lean against. And so let's turn this into a I may just do this the quick way. I may just do 1.5 just to represent a, a frame like that. And then how long is this landing? I want to make this length something, yeah, seven foot four. Let's make it, let's take off nine sixteenths because I don't like that nine sixteenths. Nine sixteenths. And I know this is going to be kind of the dirty version of this, but let's go sixteen and we'll go one point five by nine point two five, and we'll bring us a joist over here. And a group. We want that to be in the center. And we'll go 16 times 3. Should have gone one more. That's what I wanted. I wanted that sort of extra one or the close one being underneath the stair. So let's see, let's put these joists in this landing group. Let's cut them out, then go in here and let's make this a group. And then we'll paste our joist in there. Five people, okay. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make me a two by six. How oh, wide is that? That's seven feet four. Uh, 5.5. You'll notice down here in the right hand corner, you'll see the, the numbers I'm putting in. The reason I'm doing this at a two by six is, is because I'm going to convert these group. I think two by sixes would be an appropriate uh, I'm letting it hang over an inch. Uh, I think that would be an appropriate uh, thing for a barn. Uh, I'm going to separate them, separate them like a quarter inch. And then see how many I can get in there. 
times four. Yeah, and I'll have a a piece of one. Let's see. Let's let me try this again. Let me do. Let me do an eighth of an inch gap. See if I can get a little bigger piece over there. <coughs> There we go, I can get a little bigger piece. And I need to get, get in there and get that out of there. There we go. And I think, again, I think that's, uh, that's appropriate. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert these treads to two by sixes also. And so what I'm going to do now is do that. I want to take this and I want to put this over here. You see that extension I was using created this little nose here. So I'm just going to use it like a, uh, like a reference point. And then I can get rid of the, then I can get rid of it. One thing I just realized is I wanted a particular width. Oh, that's it. Yeah, 39 and three quarters. The width I want is based on the width of taking out a truss here. See, I took out a truss. So the width of the stair is going to be, you know, three foot eight and a half minus, well, okay, so it's the, distance that was left over at the last it's this distance between this two to six wall and get my green axis here and this truss which is three foot four and three quarters um, actually I'm glad I checked this I'm glad you're here because I want that to be three inches minus three inches less that. So three foot one and three quarters. That's what I want to do. Three foot one. That's thirty-seven and three quarters. Which and you'll see why in a minute. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this stair. So I'm gonna to go to my Valley Architects instant stair. And here's my parameter window. And I want this to be three foot one and three quarters. I've already got all these other parameters set. I set them earlier. Is that right? Yeah, so I'm gonna to to replace this one. I wanna I wanna I wanna explode this group for right now. I don't need that. And I was trying to give it some wood color. And that's why this one came in white. And but for now, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to put this up against that. And what I'm going to do is replace. I don't like two by twelves as treads. Do we have any questions? No questions. What? I don't like two by twelves as treads. Um, they they can be kind of wanky, and uh, two two by sixes works much better, in my opinion. Especially for something like this. We'll give it an eighth inch gap. Like that, make it look more realistic. And then we'll make that a group. And we'll get rid of these. I 
wonder if I can delete. He didn't. He didn't make those trades or groups, so I'm having to triple click as I go down to select everything. Did I get an extra one? Yeah. There we go. And now, that's our first run, and I'll explain why. So we ended up with, how many risers? We ended up with, let's see. Well, my second run of stairs is gonna go from here to up here. So what I need to do is draw a line from here and then I'm going to pull it up here so I can see it's on the blue axis and then go to there, that point, which is 11, 11 and 1 8. Okay. So to make this easy, I'm going to go to my Valley Architects instant stair and I'm going to go in here and go to height. 11 feet 11 if I can type I can't see those little tiny 1 8 and since there's no landing I have to put in it twice 11 foot 11 and 1 8 and that should number of risers by by maximum riser, no. Let's just create the stair and see what it does. Uh oh. <laughs> I have to count the risers. Let me get my calculator. Eleven times twelve is one hundred thirty-two plus eleven divided by 7.5. It's 19, 19 risers. Instant stair, parameters, should be 19. Okay, run stair. Oh, that's more like it. Okay, that looks like it. And I'm gonna explain another thing here in a second. This will go right here. And I think I want to get rid of that overhang on the side. I should have done that. But let's see if our stair, oops. Hmm. So the other issue we have Let's see if anybody's got any questions. They like to go split. <laughs> hey, Richard, how's it going? Hello, hello, Kevin. It would take me longer to build this on there than it would build. It, it does. It does. You know what? Sometimes I can build things, especially when you're working in 3D space and you're having to like rotate stuff. You can do that with your hands very quickly. And, uh, it does, and I, that's the funny thing about this. People don't realize how much time it takes sometimes, and I'll give them a price for helping them, and they'll be like, what? <laughs> but one of the other issues we deal with is head height. So from the from this beam, i got to make sure I keep my seven feet here. So I'm going to go to this one. Yeah, seven feet seven. So what I was looking at was it looks like it looks like before I had this stair. Let me see what my risers are, because I'm out of. No, that's what that's what I want. Seven and nine sixteenths. So I've got the window. So um, I 
that means I'm going to have to move the stair opening back to Here, I think. Yeah, to there. Yeah, seven and sixteenth. That's right. So, yeah. And, but I want to change these uh, treads up. But you can see now the predicament is, well, let's turn off the walls for a second. I think that's going to help me show this. The predicament I had was, but I don't want to turn off that beam. Anyway, just imagine that beam being there. <laughs> I think I'll put this in, I might put this in floor framing. For the time being. Oh, that's weird, it's untagged. All right, well, I'm gonna turn that off for a second. And just imagine that LBL beam coming across here on top of those posts. You can see I was trying to push this stair as far this way as I could, but the more I push it that way, the more it interferes with your headroom. So let's just say I had brought it over to where this landing was square. Then I turn my walls back on and then we go measure. You see, the building inspector measures from that, he'll measure from that beam straight down to the nearest tread, which is that one, which is only five foot eight, you see. Uh, and he could, if he wanted to, he could measure to that one. Because I've seen him do that where they take the worst case scenario. So, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, you got to push it back. And that's how you determine where the stair ends up here. But that still leaves you a nice landing up here at the top. So now what I'm gonna do is change out, I wanna make sure this is my three foot one and three quarters first. Yep. And I also want to move these uh, stringers where they're flush. Now, um, I like to um, have, if my stair is over three feet wide, which is, this is not, this is, you know, nominal or marginal, I should say. I really like to have another stringer. <clears throat> But since this is a barn and these stairs probably won't get used that much, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask him though, I would say, you know, if you're gonna be carrying heavy bales of straw up the stairs, you just want a really good uh, set of stairs to support your weight as you're carrying heavy things up there. And you'll see in a minute why I want these. Uh, want these out here flush. I'm going to mount a handrail to the side of them. Copy.
right there. Still got our one inch. Why is that? Looks like I might have to adjust the width of my landing. But let me do this. Let me do all this first. Get these. If I can delete all this without. Hmm. Um. I have to triple click on each one of these because they're not groups. Triple clicking grabs it. Oops, I didn't triple click that one. Grabs everything that's connected that's not grouped already. And I would suggest if you're making an extension that you group your Group your stuff. Your uh, your customers will like you. Now I think I should be able to go up eighteen times eighteen. That should get me up there. Except I didn't need that last one. That's what I thought. I knew that was going to happen. And I don't need that thing either. Now, the code requires a nose on your stair, so he'll have to we'll have to work that out. We'll have to have like a bull nose here to give us our nose on our top stair. Is there any questions? Any questions? But yeah, this uh, it's oh, I want to go ahead and put my post in on my landing. I want to make myself a. I think I like, I'm I'm gonna like a six by six here, five point five by five point five, and I'll bring it up to here. Make a group. Put one there, put me one here. You won't need, you won't need posts. Uh, if I turn the walls back on, you'll see you can bolt your landing up there. <laughs> you can bolt your landing or screw it to your studs along this wall. So you only need, you only need those two posts. You could put one here, it would, would be nice uh, because of the way the stairs drop down. The way the stringer drops down, you could put one there to give it something to bear against, or you can run another board across between those two, whichever you like. Now for the handrail, uh, that's why I left this gap here, except this needs to be moved over an inch and a half, it looks like. Is that an inch and a half now? There needs to be an inch and a half between them, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. On this, kind, on this kind of thing, you can build these kind of rough, um, rough handrails. 3.5 by 1.5 and let's bring this up 36 and put it right here let's get down there I can see and then every four feet Let's go ahead and make it as long as it would be as if it were not going all the way down like I'm going to. Let's 
It's just going to be right there. Is that right? Yeah, like that. Now I'm going to run these. Let's see. What we'll do is we'll put one on this end. And then we'll figure out. Let's guess. Divided by one, two, three, four, five. Oops. That didn't work. I'm supposed to copy this. Divided by five. There we go. I'm going to guess that that is close to two foot nine. Hmm. That may be a little bit close together, but I like it. I like the way it looks, so I'm going to leave it that way. Got to have plenty of safety here. Now this is just kind of a, this is what we would do in construction on a temporary handrail, but I think it's probably appropriate uh, for a barn handrail. And I'm not sure, you know, it just occurred to me, they may, they may, on this occupancy, I'm not sure if they're going to enforce the four inch rule. Uh, like normally if it was just like a temporary construction rail, you could get by with probably one, you know, one down here divided by three. Nope, that's wrong. One like right here divided by two. There we go. And um, you could get by with that, you know, uh, for a temporary handrail for construction. I think for a barn, you could probably get by with that And so now what we're going to do is run one at the angle of the stair. Let me turn the walls off for a second. It's going to be easier to see. Put one right here. And then we'll put it at the angle of the stair. Where's my twisty tool there it is like that and then we'll move it up here always found that's an easy way to get your stair angle and that would be let's see yeah right there and then Now I'm just going to show this. It may not. It may not be that they they like it, but for now, um, and then on on the going down the stair. Typically, you can get by with one that's just halfway. I'll show it right there for right now, and I'll fix it. Kind of like that and then these these can come on down the ones that are not let's see yeah all of those that would go yeah okay I got it I'm just gonna bring them down a while and then I'm gonna cut them off
And somehow we didn't get our stand exactly in the right location, but I'm getting ready to fix that. Right there. Now, these would come down. Now, I can see somebody saying, well, I don't like that. I don't, you know, I don't necessarily like it either too much, but I think in this case, it's gonna, it would work fine. Um, I'll run those down a while for a second. And think about it. I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit cagey. So, if you didn't like it, you can just um, cut these, you know, cut those off right there, and cut these off right there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I like that. I might have to take a vote. Might just have to take our chances with it not being as strong. Um, just watching. <laughs> I think I'm going to cut these off. I don't like them necessarily. Coming down like that. There might be some advantage to, uh, and why is that not? Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to cut them out. Yeah. What in the world? Oh, it's this one. Sometimes they don't disappear like they're supposed to. Probably looks better. Yeah, 
and I may just finish the hand rail. I may, I may just show him that, see what he thinks about that, and uh, go from there. So we turn our walls back on, we get our beam back in there. You can see our predicament with our headroom and why we had to have this long landing was to scoot the stair back so that we'd have our headroom right here. And we had to have a landing because we were more than 12 feet, a total rise from floor to floor. So she's looking pretty good not sure where those blue windows came from. Let's investigate that right quick. That's more like it. <laughs> so that is our monitor barn so far. If we turn off our roof, again, we got our shipping containers on each side. We have a series of columns here. I'll go ahead and make these wood colored, these brackets. Oops. Why is that not? Oh, I see. There we go. Oop, that's the wrong color. That is the wrong color. There we go. And looking pretty good. I think it's looking pretty good. This over here was uh, the second floor plan. I, uh, I generally will do like a 2D, like this is the first floor plan. I generally will do like a, a two-dimensional plan for the floor plans. Uh, it's just easier uh, uh, to show that way. So then that would be, you know, this is cutting through the containers. That's why I see the little wavy lines there and of course this one this will go up here and I'll put fix that in a minute let me see if there's any questions it does look good I do I like it hey David how's it going cut them yeah yeah I, I, I agreed I agreed and uh they got to be kind of cagey, cagey looking if I turn that roof off again. And he may, you know, I'm just going to show him that style of handrail that I think you can probably get by with in a barn. If he wants to do something fancier, we can, we can certainly come up with something um, fancier. Uh, but this should be a nice, a nice barn, uh, this big door, roll up door here allows plenty of access inside and um, it's going to be cool. Well, I'm going to set up a meeting with uh, Jason and go over all this stuff and see what he thinks. Does anybody have any questions? 
Good thanks. I'm working on a steel frame building myself. <laughs> what size building are you working on there, David? Is it like a uh, pre-engineered type steel building or just uh, you're just kind of putting it together out of steel? Put this, this second floor plan will go up here. Oh look, dang, I've already got, what did I do? I must have copied it already, so I can delete that one. I've already put it up here, that's odd. I gotta put the windows in. Oh, it looks like I have. Yeah. So let's see what the second floor plan looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I got the windows in. Forty by sixty by sixteen, replicating and designed by a building company. Huh. That's cool. Is it like a? steel post and beam or like steel studs when i think of steel frame building i think of uh, pre-engineered you know vents and uh 40 by 60. that's pretty good size Okay, well, I'm going to set up a meeting with uh, Jason, and I have to get some questions answered from him before I can finish this up. And um, see if I have any steel I beam post. Yeah, and I beam, yeah, trusses. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, <clears throat> I'm going to meet with Jason here in a little while, so uh, I will be wrapping this live stream up. I just really wanted to show how I was going to do the stair and get some ideas from Jason uh, from that. So hopefully he'll watch this uh, before we meet and then we'll, we can have a good discussion about it. But I appreciate you guys watching and joining in. Thank you.